Okay, so here we are. We're at the uh, end of the summer, basically, for 2023. It's the end of August. I'm recording this end of August 25th, somewhere around there. And um, August tends to be a rather quiet month because a lot of people are on vacation. A lot of people are gearing up and getting ready to go back to school and... Uh, the, probably the last thing on their mind right now is whether or not they're going to sell their home. Typically, you know, we're going back to this seasonal market where people thinking about selling and making a move in spring and summer. But, you know, we're still in this kind of like high rate environment. We're thinking maybe, you know, at, to, today when I looked, I think the rates were somewhere around seven, seven and a half. If you're thinking about purchasing a home, um, and um, we're probably looking at higher rates in September. But we're also looking at another thing where apparently the economy is still going well. And all the rate hikes that the government put in place, they wanted to slow down the housing market. And they did in some parts of the country. In our particular area here in Nutley, um, the one thing that we're suffering from is a lack of inventory. We don't have enough inventory. So what winds up happening is it comes down to pure supply and demand. Like as of this morning, there's probably about a dozen homes on the market. And if you have a good market, it's in a good price range, and a good price range right now is anywhere from five to 600,000. The medium or average price home, let's say, in town in Nutley, if you're thinking about moving here, you're looking at, at a $600,000 price point to find something decent, you know, and you still may have to do a little work on that property. Um, so the inventory is what is really keeping the prices elevated in this town. And I don't see that changing for the rest of the year. But if we by chance happen to see the Fed lower the interest rates at their next meeting, or if we see prices coming down, or not prices, but if we see um, mortgage rates coming down a bit towards the end of the year, we may see buyers jump off the fence and decide to come out and purchase. But then again, the question is, it's still lack of inventory. That's what we're dealing with. And I think we're going to be dealing with that for the rest of the year. I think we're going to be dealing with a lack of inventory for the rest of the year. When homes go on the market, they usually have an offer within the first week, especially if they're priced well and then they're in decent shape where not that much work needs to be done to the property. 70% of our clientele and buyers are coming from outside the area and they're, they're, they're moving to Nutley. They're coming from areas like Manhattan, uh, the five boroughs, Bron the Bronx, Queens, um, even southern Jersey. And southern Jersey has seen a massive growth in home prices. I think their 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 average price range down the shore is, is way beyond what ours is. And up in Bergen County, like in Wyckoff and Franklin Lakes, their medium-priced home is probably $800,000. Or their average-priced home is probably $800,000. So what does that mean for the home buyer? My best advice, and I, I catch a lot of flack for saying this, is if you don't have a, a need to purchase a home right now, if you don't have a real need, like if you're not getting married and having another child or downsizing, then I would sit still for a little bit. I think 2024 is going to be a shakeout year. Um, we're going to see things adjust a little bit more, but they're still predicting 6 to 7% growth in home prices. So you have to weigh it out here. Do you buy sooner rather than later and then refi once you buy the home and I, I hate to give that advice to people you know I, I hate that whole um, you know uh, date the rate marry the home type of advice because I still think you need to need to have a need in order to purchase a home when I work with buyers I sit them down and I kind of sift through or discover you know do they need to buy a home <clears throat> excuse me and then we come up with a strategy to purchase that home and the strategy kind of goes like this. You know, I try to find them something that's off market first so they don't have to compete. Um, 
make sure they're pre-approved and all their financials are solid. And then uh, we take it from there. And then, you know, I tell them what to expect that we may lose a couple of homes before we get the one, you know, that you want or we get the home that you're going to gonna settle for. So, and I always tell my clients, you know, as long as you get 90% of what you want in a home, then you're doing okay. All right. And if you have any questions about that, you can reach me below or call me, Matt Defiti from Realty Executives Elite Homes. This is my living in Nutley, and uh, you can reach me at 862-228-0554. Hope to hear from you. Bye-bye. <laughs>